we all have a question in our daily life is our water safe for drinking we are always in need of pure drinking water so we use ro water systems for pure and safe drinking water but their annual maintenance cost that is amc is bit costlier we pay around 3 to 5000 for its amc if i tell you we can do the same amc at home just for rupees 1300 then it will be a icing on cake so let's get to it as you can see all the filters are sealed and it's clearly mentioned must be replaced after every one year so there is no point in taking the service from uh, the providers we can order a, a service kit from outside uh, like uh, online i have ordered from ebay i will show you what they have provided me they have provided a tap pipe knobs teflon tape this is the ro membrane it is a uh, voltron 80 gdp so what is basically gdp gdp is a uh, gallons per day that is 80 gallons per day from this candle and they have provided a spun filter pre filter this is sediment filter they have provided the tightening uh, spanner flow restrictor as you can see i have purchased all these things from ebay at uh, just rupees 1200 and we pay 3 to 4000 or 3 to 5000 rupees for same filters from water inlet it goes to sediment filter from sediment filter it goes to pre carbon filter from pre carbon it goes to solenoid wall and then from solenoid wall it goes to pump from pump it goes to ro membrane from ro membrane it goes to post carbon or uf or mineral cartridge if you don't have uh, this three cartridge then it goes to uv lamp and then to the storage tank remove the sediment filter you can see the sediment filter take a new sediment filter here the uh, here is the arrow and here is the flow so just fit in it in the same way just fit the new handle Okay. Now remove the arrow candle. Let's open the arrow and just pull. Just throw it. Now just uh, we will put a new arrow candle. This is the inner portion, the two gasket. This is the outer portion. 80 gdp just push it completely and just seal it aro housing has three ports single sided port is for inlet and the port which is slightly behind the other port is for pure water outlet and the port which is slightly above is for waste water outlet now we will connect the inlet pipe to ro membrane which we are getting from the pump as you can see this port is slightly behind so it is for pure water outlet and this port is for waste water outlet
just take the knob insert it okay. and just tighten it now you can see we have been given uh, the lock so we will for lock just press it inside the hole you can see this is the inlet from inlet it goes to sediment filter which is at back from sediment it goes to the pre carbon from here you can see from pre carbon it goes to the pump and from pump it goes to ro membrane from ro waste water port it goes to flow restrictor from flow restrictor it goes to waste water outlet from pure water port it goes to uf from uf it goes to uv and from uv it goes to the storage tank now we will mount the uv light again <laughs> 